Mikey, finally we get to this boss. He's guarding precious treasure, which will make us rich for the rest of our lives. All we have to do is just get it without disturbing this skeleton. He's asleep now, and we have the perfect chance to do just that. Little Booty is extremely careful not to make any sounds or rustles. We mustn't wake him up. Okay, JJ, I'll be very careful. JJ, look how big he is. What a huge sight he's got in his hand. That's why we have to be careful. This creature is very powerful. It possesses ancient magic. JJ, hurry up. I think he's waking up. Yay, I made it to the treasure. There's so much stuff in here. I don't think I'll be able to carry everything. I'll just take the essentials and the expensive. Oh, no. JJ's attacking us. He's awake. Let's get out of here fast. I hope we can get away. He's shooting some kind of bomb. Mikey, you got away from him. You all right? JJ? Oh no! Look at my 0.1 GP. That can't be right. Oh no, Mikey, I'm still the same. I'm out of HP too. Mikey, I think that skeleton's put a spell on us. Now we're very, very, very low on heal points. JJ, what are we going to do now? Because we will literally die from any spit! First we need to get back to our village, and then we'll decide what to do. Follow me. Finally, we reached our village. It is very dark outside. It will soon be night. Right. What we need to do is to hide everything we have found or our hike will be useless. I will open our secret vault and hide all our new resources there. That's a good idea, JJ. Okay, and then we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow we'll decide what we're gonna do with our health points. It's very strange that they don't regenerate themselves like they always have before. I think this chest would be great for storage. Our new resources, they'll definitely be safe in there. Great, here we are done. Now we need to get going, get some sleep and regain our strength. Who knows, maybe in the morning when we wake up our health points will be fully restored. Though I doubt that very much, of course. Anyway, Mikey, it's a great idea. We could really use the rest. Let's go to the second floor bed. We've had a very interesting day today, Mikey. It's time to get some rest. I wish you a good night and a speedy recovery of your health points. I'm so glad I have a friend like you, JJ. Good night. See you in the morning. JJ, wake up quickly. It's an emergency. We're in big trouble. Mikey, what happened? Why did you wake me up in the middle of the night? What kind of danger are we in? Look out the window. There's a bunch of zombies. They're going to get into our house and kill us. We need to do something right now. JJ, you have to save us. You're right, Mikey. There are zombies all around our house, but how are we supposed to fight them? We only have so much time. One health point, one hit, and we both die. I have an idea, JJ. There's a witch living next door, and I think she can help us. All we have to do is find a way to get to her house. Good idea, Mikey. I say we break down this wall and just line up to the witch's house. Since we'll be built too high, the zombies won't be able to reach us. And when we get to the witch, she can help us, and then we'll have a full supply of health points, and we can kill all the zombies. That's a neat trick you came up with, JJ. We're very high up, and the zombies really can't get us. They don't stand a chance. We're safe here. JJ looks like we're gonna have to break her window, or we can't get in. All right, we've broken into the witch's house. Whoa, there's the witch. Hello, I'm here to see the witch. We need your help. We've been enchanted by a huge skeleton boss, and now we have very few health points. We can die from any spit. Apparently, she says she has a cure for this disease, but we have to give her something in return, namely three pieces of rotting flesh. Three pieces of rotting flesh? Really? Looks like we're gonna have to go outside and fight zombies after all. You're right, JJ, but at least we can heal if we succeed. Yes, that's right, and we have to be very careful because one hit and you and I are dead. Attack! Here, take that, you stupid zombie. My sword will teach you a lesson. You're not getting away from me. You can't stop me! Chew the metal. Choke on it. Yay, Mikey, we were able to win and not get a single hit. We did great. JJ, that was awesome. We're real fighters. We sure are, but don't underestimate them next time, just in case. We got more rotting flesh than we needed. We just need to take the rotting flesh to the witch and we'll be saved. Great, the witch gave me two items. I think we should use them on the first floor. Follow me, Mikey. Use the 
him, JJ. I used potions, but it didn't seem to have any effect. Mikey, no change in your health either? It doesn't seem to be working. We didn't make it. I got another idea, Mikey. There's still time. There's a good scientist friend of mine who lives nearby. Let's wait till morning and go see him. Maybe he can help us. So we waited until morning. The new day had finally arrived. Today our task is to break the skeleton curse. My old friend, Mr. Scientist, who lives in a house nearby, can help us. JJ, are you sure he can help us? No, Mikey. Unfortunately, I'm not sure, but it's our only chance. Mr. Scientist is probably on the second floor right now. Let's go see him. Still, I hope he can do something to help us. I'm sick of walking around with so few health points. Mr. Scientist, hello. Can you hear me? It's me, JJ. Mikey and I need your help. We've been cursed by a skeleton, and now we have no health points to spare. We can literally die from any spit. Hey, JJ, I heard about that curse. I think I can help you. Let's go down to my secret lab. Wow, a secret lab sounds impressive. I think I might be able to find some of the ingredients we'll need to create an antidote to your illness, but I'm also going to need your help. I'll tell you what kind when we get down to the underground lab. An underground lab is pretty cool. I want one of those too. So what ingredients will be needed for the antidote? To create an antidote, I'll need a chemistry lab, one bucket of lava, three pieces of diamonds, also one Neezer star and 64 bars of gold. In return, I will synthesize a special meat that will cure you of your illness. All you have to do is eat it and you'll be fine. This is just great news, especially since we already have many of the ingredients. All right, Mikey. First, we're going to go to our vault and get the following resources from there, namely, Nessera stars and gold. We'll also need an empty bucket to fill with lava. JJ, what about the other components? Where do we get the diamonds and the chemistry lab? And here with this will be a little more difficult if the bucket of lava I can still find in the cave while mining diamonds. I don't know where I can get a chemistry lab. JJ, I heard there was an abandoned lab nearby. Maybe there's some kind of portable chemistry station inside and it could help us? That's not a bad idea though. I think we should split up. I'll do the lava bucket and also the diamonds because I know there are some nearby. One old mine that I've seen both lava and diamonds in. And you go find the abandoned lab and wait for me near it. And here's this cave I said somewhere around here. There should be a slope down. And at the very bottom, there will be lava and diamonds. I'm sure of it. All right, there's the descent. All we got to do is get down there. Just to remind you, I have to be very careful because one wrong move and I'm dead because I have no health points. All right, I've got the lava bucket, so I've got to get down to the bottom. It's going to be a tricky descent. There's still a lot of lava here, and I can't take damage or I'll die instantly. You have to be very careful. Yay, here come the cherished diamonds. Now it's time to get them. I wonder how many pieces there are. I got five diamonds. I only need three. That's more than I needed. That's great. Great. I found Mikey. And she found the abandoned lab she was talking about earlier. JJ, be careful. It's surrounded by traps. I agree with you, Mikey. There are one traps here that we can't fall into and we can't take damage from them because if we lose even half a heart, we die. Let's go slow and careful not to hit the thorns. We don't need to rush. Hopefully the chemistry lab will be here. Otherwise it would all be for nothing. Of course she's here. She's not going anywhere. She's probably behind that door. Yay, I think this is it, the chem lab. It does look like a chemistry lab, which is exactly what I hope Mr. Scientist needs. Let's take the lab for ourselves and take it to Mr. Scientist. Right now, we're going down to Mr. Scientist's underground lab to give him all the ingredients. Hey, Mr. Scientist. Hello. Here we are, back with everything you need to make the antidote. All right, he succeeded in synthesizing the special meat. All we have to do is eat it. Enjoy your meal, Mikey. Hope it tastes okay. You too, JJ. Uh, what's going on here? I think I'm losing consciousness. My eyes are getting dark. I think I'm sick. I'm going to fall. Hey, what happened? Where am I? Ooh, my head hurts. Mikey, are you okay? Yeah, all in all, I'm fine. Whoa! JJ, we did it. I have a full complement of health points. 
Whoa, me too. That's great news, we're saved. Now we can fear nothing and no one as before. Good job, Mikey and Mr. Scientist. Thank you very much, Mr. Scientist. 